Hello, everybody. Today is a very special day because we all know that Chelsea have gone a bit wild in the transfer window. And this is their new team. They have Jao Felix on the bench, Mikalo Mudrik, it's <laughs> Majueke. Where's. Well, hold on a second. Where's Enzo Fernandez? Well, I guess they don't have Enzo Fernandez, but there you go. But they're a club who have spent 85 million on a 75 rated player in Mikhail Mudrik. But here we go, I guess. This is going to be one crazy, crazy rebuild. Right, shall we check out the Youth Academy first of all? Oh! We have Ibrahim Pierce. He is higher rated than Mikhailo Mudrik. That's... Look at this guy. We've got to promote him. We've got to. He just looks amazing. What? Since when does that happen? Right. Let's find him and stick him on the development plan. Not really what I was expecting. For the moment, to be honest with you. <laughs> there you go. Right then. I think the first thing we need to do is sign Enzo Fernandez because that has happened in real life. So, I'll go ahead and do that. Well, I certainly overpaid for Enzo Fernandez, but I didn't overpay as much as Chelsea did, which is definitely a plus. We've brought in Enzo Fernandez for £60 million. A bit of a shame that, I mean, I have the latest squads. I guess they just have not updated it enough he's only 78 rated as well cool <laughs> we're not doing very well so far 80 rated actually that's that's gonna put a spell on my face but this squad this yeah this this isn't gonna work for us i'm gonna have to do something different with this right so as i've been playing around with the squad i've realized we still have Jorginho, which means I'm not going to put him on the transfer list, which would probably be the smart thing to do, because I think we just need to get rid of him right now, because that's the realistic thing to do. So, I'm going to release Jorginho. Release player. There we go. No more Jorginho. It's going to be a very, very big season. Kovacic and Enzo Fernandez. I mean, even though Todd Bowley has spent 600 million, this isn't a very strong team, to be honest with you. Although, I was realised, Kante's on the bench here. I mean, I, I obviously, I want to use N'Golo Kante, right? But, he is injured at the moment. So, oh, maybe I won't use him for a couple games because he is injured. And I've no idea how Pierce is going to do anything. Or Radueke or Badashiel or Conor Gallagher. Because <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do at this point. I'll put Conor Gallagher in there. But anyway, there we go. Let's crack in to our first game, shall we? Right then. It is time. The first game of the season. This is going to be our team. Enzo, Kovacic, no, not Kovacic, Felix, they're all making their debut here today. And I've decided I will chuck Madueke on the bench because we don't really need your second keeper. Right then, let's get into this game. Again. Joe Felix, he's got through, he shoots and he scores. The very first goal for Chelsea this season comes from Loney Zhao Felix. He just goes through and it's an easy, easy goal for Zhao. 
first goal of the season. Come on. For was that Dennis Zakaria who's on loan from Juventus. Oh, they've just given the ball away. And therefore we could give away the win and we have done. A 90 plus two, Danny Welbeck. Oh, it's a terrible, terrible mistake. How have we managed that? It's absolutely disgraceful from us. Look at it. Oh, that's disgusting. And that's going to be it. There we go. You are kidding. Pretty much the last kick of the match. They get the equaliser. That That's disappointing. We should have got the one. In other news, Armando Broya is out on loan for two years. So hopefully he can return from Hertha Berlin a better player. Well, N'Golo Kante says he's fit. Pretty much. So I'm just going to take that as a win and play N'Golo Kante in this game. I do really want to play Enzo Fernandez because that's kind of part of the whole point of playing this career mode to try and see Enzo Fernandez, Bicardo, Mudrik, all of them. At least still yet to see Mudrik, by the way. So I'm going to take off Kovacic for Kante. Oh, come on. That doesn't mean that Noni Madueke is not going to get a place on the bench. Which is a bit of a shame. Nor Pierce as well. Is there anyone I can put Pierce on for? Yeah, yeah that's fine. That's fine. Right, we're going to have to move him back a bit. Okay, then we'll play the highlights this game. Oh, no. I chose play attack only highlights. <laughs> I guess we're playing attack only highlights. I don't know why I'm talking to the microphone. I don't have it plugged in anymore because my laptop needs charge. But, anyways, here we go. I'm going to do attacking highlights. I've never actually played attacking highlights, so this should be interesting. Hopefully, we don't concede 10 goals. This looks promising. Sterling. He passes it to Kai Havertz. It's good from Kai Havertz. He just loses the ball. Oh, he still has it. Kai Havertz still has the ball. He couldn't come around. He cuts back. Fair enough. To N'Golo Kante. Who is playing today? Oh, it's not very good. We have a corner. We do have a corner now. 53 minutes. We don't have much time anymore. Um... Whip it in. It's a relatively rubbish corner, let's be honest. Enzo Fernandez. Oh, come on. Chelsea attack. We've not conceded yet, which is a good thing. Jao Felix. Jao Felix. Cuts back. So can he get a second goal in two games? No, he can't. And it ends in a z nil. Nil. If we simmed that, we probably could have won. But I was just a bit poor in, a, in those highlights. I guess the defence held out pretty well. So I guess that's a positive thing from that game. Our next game is against Crystal Palace. Who have won both of their games, unlike us. We'll just quick sim this game. Hopefully we can get a win. We do! First win of the season. Sterling gets the goal. 1-0 win for Chelsea over Crystal Palace to get our first three points on the board. Very nice. The Champions League is certainly a competition that we want to win and the draw has just come through. This one, this group, not too bad. Not in this one. Oh, wait, is it, I think it's just a real life group, to be honest with you. Yes. I'm not super sure, but I think it is the real life groups. I don't know why I got so excited about that then. But there we go. There's the group, if you're wondering. AC Milan, RB Salzburg, and Dynamo Zagreb. That's a really, that's a really easy group. We should, we should be able to top that group. If not, come second, I think we'll be able to get through that relatively easily. 
as I think we should just get deadline day here. Yep, yeah, fair enough. Linkovic Savage to Liverpool, that would be a good signing for them. Let's hope that doesn't go through then, shall we? Do you know what? I think we're going to end the episode here. We've done pretty well in this. Well, we haven't done pretty well. We're sitting ninth in the league, but that's fine. It's only been three games. We've got Leicester up next, which should be relatively easy. So I think quite interesting with Jao Felix, Fernandez. What's going on here? Very peculiar. But maybe in the next episode, we'll try and get as close to January as possible. And I am thinking of signing a right winger in January, although I might just want to play Pierce more. Hopefully we can see Pierce's debut in the next episode. So I'll see you then.